you can see it down below. It's three pieces, and as you can see how it's bolted, it's anchored by two anchors. There is one over here, and another anchor, and we find it right over here. And they go down, and they tie into the actual unit itself. And if we look down below, you can see here, there's a fill valve, and here is the gas out, and we'll follow that, and see if we can get a better picture of it. And you can see the gas coming out of the unit right now. And this unit, I believe, is running about five or so amps. We'll check it. We'll go back a little bit so you can see it. That's the gas outbound. And the gas outbound comes up here to a circulator trap, which has a level sensor in it. And the circulator with a level sensor. And there's our gas out right here is our gas out. All right, and that goes into a normal C-trap, and out of our normal C-trap, here's our normal gas right here. That goes out, you'll see there's no water, no nothing. And of course, it's all hooked up with a control box right here. You'll see a control box. And if you look down, here's the other side. And here's the water return right here out of the circulator trap. And that water return goes down and ties in down here and from there is the water from the pump and the reserve tank into a T that goes into the bottom of the unit goes through the unit and then of course comes out of the unit as you can see the hydrogen coming out of it right now the lighting is a little poor because we've got a low sun in the sky you know they're turning the clocks back and of course electrically it hooks up the same exact way there's your control box right there is your control box. Here's your wires out of your control box, which are right here, which is your power on wire, your master hydrogen wire, and right here is your uh, anode wire that goes down and connects down here to the anode on the side. And as you can see, there's a ground wire in the front with the ground wire that goes around the back. And if we look over here, we follow these wires and we're on an amp gauge right now and if we can get it focused in we aren't doing but maybe about five or six amps if that and I'm going to turn on an amp meter right now so you can see it alright we're at seven, six point eight to seven amps it oscillates up and down and there is our hydrogen outbound right there at 6.8 to 7 amps. There it is right there coming out. As you can see it. And of course with this unit I hooked up an amp meter and because I changed so many units and test them over here I've got a distribution panel and here is the 15 amp fuse that powers through the amp meter to the unit and these are all spares for additional setups and of course I feed it with a large number two cable from the positive side of the battery and it has the usual inside power switch it turns on with the key and of course that comes in right over here and that's what turns on the control relays in the box up above but that's what a series 11a single brick looks like and if i can i'll get underneath the vehicle and we'll look upwards from the bottom so you can see it here we go And there we go right there with a Series 11A brick. There's the back side of it. And of course, there's the anode. Down there is the drain plug, the water return. And here's the water from up above that comes back from the circulator trap right down to here and then into the unit. And here's the hose right here that goes on up to the water pump over there and brings the fresh water in when your water pump calls for water. Over there is the bottom of your normal sea trap and up above if we look here we should be able to see there's the bottom of your automated circulator trap which has the actual level sensor located in it. It's located there it's not located within the brick itself. And there's a picture of the back of the brick where it's bolted up you can see there's the brackets that pin it right up there. And then you go around this way, and you see it's way down underneath the vehicle. And you come around this way, 
and come up. And here's what it looks like from a distance right here. And then we brought it out from here all the way on up with a single hose. And then we split the hose with a Y. We also have an old setup on this going to the intake, which we have turned off. And this Y here comes out, and we split this one right here. We split it for a Venturi on the bottom, and this leg goes out and splits the two Venturis. So this air tube right here has got three Venturis 180 degrees apart. And that's about it, and that's how a MagDrive Series 11A brick looks like, along with its reserve tank right there. As you can see it, and there's the water going down. And it goes down there and it feeds to a pump down below. You can see that pump down there. And there's one last look at the gas out, which is very difficult with the lighting today. But you can take one more look. And there is the gas out. The white color going through is all gas and the red is captured electrolyte solution that's pulled up with the gas and then it's separated inside here. The water goes back out and down again right here and the gas itself ends up going out right here. And as you see there is no water in that outside line going down to the sea trap and there's no water in the outbound sea trap gas line. Perfectly dry, no problems. And as you can see, they're already all frosted up because we are drawing HHO. And that's about it. So, hope this was informative, gave you an idea what we're doing. Have a good day, and bye-bye.